Hello citizens of the internet and welcome to launch day. Minecraft 1.18 is now live. Can you believe it? Part 2 of the Caves and Cliffs update is now live and we are just going to go into this as, uh, you know, checking it out. Uh, no plans for a let's play. Uh, I am just going to kind of explore the world until we explore all the new features and uh, see what's going on. Maybe more than one episode, probably more than one episode, but uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, let's get started. All right, so let's go into uh, our survival single player here and um, let's just call this um, Dad's G um, 118. How about that? 118. Okay. Um, and then we are going to do difficulty. Let's see. What do we want to do? Do we want to do hard or do we want to do hardcore? Well, if I do hardcore, we won't see everything. So probably just hard. We'll do that for now. We're going to leave cheats off, of course. And um, let's go to more world options here. And let's do um, dad's GMC 118. Let's play. How about that? Uh, we'll see what happens if we put that in as a seed. Okay, um, bonus chest? Nah. All right, done. And create new world. And who knows where this magical land will take us. Uh, I'm looking forward to exploring everything that's a part of the new uh, update here. So let's see how things are going. It's not taking too long. That's good. That's a good sign. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't see... Caves or cliffs. I see ocean. It's like the ocean update. Ooh, here's a cave. Spawn right next to the cave. Uh, should we go into it? No, no, not right away. But the good news is we are next to water, and I do see something out there. I don't have Optifine yet, uh, so I can't zoom in, but that does look like that is a portal underneath there. We might be able to raid that. Um, but being on water allows us to uh, explore more territory quickly. So... Let's just, I want to punch a tree. That's a big tree. Look at that tree. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this cleared out really quick here. You gotta love punching trees. What you do in Minecraft. Early game, punch some trees. I did, of course, just pick the largest tree that Minecraft has ever generated, ever, to cut down. Uh, so that took a little bit of time. But um, let's see, where did we pop in here? Where was that cave? Was it right over here? I think we should go into it because we did find it. That was right near we spawned. Was this it? I think this was it right here. Yep, that was it, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and build some tools really quickly here. Look at all that oak we got. Crafting bench necessary okay and then we're gonna do let's do a pickaxe off right away here Get that going all right and i think we'll also do a regular old axe as well for defense just right as we get moving here let's do it like that okay so let's go down here and we're gonna get some stone and see if we can get some iron because i want to shear some sheep oh look at this guy he's lost Okay, let's see what's down here. Anything interesting? I don't see any iron. Or, no, you don't want to go down there. That's scary. Let's go ahead and get some stone. So this first cave, somewhat a little bit of a bust for uh, finding some iron, easy. Uh, let's go over here and maybe find some iron. Oop, skeletons. Oh, uh, I tell you the accuracy on hard. They're crazy accurate. Let's see. Iron over there. Coal. And a zombie. And a creeper. Okay. Yeah. I'm not ready for this just yet. I think I'm just gonna have to kill these guys. Um, you know, I, I always hate doing it. I always hate doing it. I always like to uh Get um, shears. You know, I don't, I don't want to, don't want to hurt the sheeples, but um, you know what? Sometimes in Minecraft, you got to start off like this. So let's go ahead and grab these guys real quick here. Luckily, they're all white. 
Oh. I'm not doing so well with the uh, crit hits here. That's a big hole. That's like an impact crater. Is it just me or does this biome seem really, really, really large? Um, I'm honestly thinking that this is a change. Um, that the biomes are quite a bit bigger. Because it, it has a feel of almost the larger biomes section when you uh, could choose that. Got some stuff down here. Yeah, plenty of sheep. Plenty of sheep. Nothing to stress about. Okay, let's get some tools going here. Okay, I got the stone pickaxe. Let's go ahead and grab a sword too, a stone sword too, just so we have it for protection. Uh, let's do that. Keep the axe down here. And of course, we're going to make a bed. I think we have access to some flowers around here as well, so we don't have to have the the white bed. Um, let's do, let's do, yeah, let's do blue. I like blue. There we go. Going, blue bed. Nice. Okay. So far, so good. I mean, we're, I mean, we're in the middle of a giant prairie, but, um, I think maybe we want to build a boat and uh, kind of see what we can get from that chest over there and maybe look around for some mountains. How about that? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, and we'll grab our crafting table here. And uh, let's see what is over here. That is an interesting ruined temple right there. That is a lot. I mean, just... That is a lot of magma cubes. A lot. All right, so we're gonna avoid those because they will suck this boat straight down. And let's come over this way and see if we can find a chest. Okay, there's one right there. All right. Let's go and see what is in that chest. Um. You know what? Nothing great, but we'll take it. That's a big, also, ruin. Okay. All right, it's almost getting close. Oh, look at that. Oh, an ocean monument right over there. This actually is a pretty decent spawn if there's mountains nearby. Um, let's just go over here. We'll go to sleep, and in the morning, we're going to head over this direction, which, if that's west... That means that's north, right? Okay, so let's head north and see where our fortunes take us. If I can steer. This is a big, big prairie right here. Yeah, everything is like taller. Look at this. That is pretty cool. I think that we're going to see a lot more of this type of structure um around naturally occurring like these kind of gravelly walls popping up on the sides so we might have another ocean ruin right up here oh yeah look at that that is really cool how it slopes up right off the water like that it reminds me of dover except they're not white cliffs that is pretty cool yep another ocean ruin wow look at this Oh, so we have a shipwreck up here. It looks like it was almost trying to get into that tunnel right there and it, uh, the water was too high, like the tide was in and it couldn't get in and it crashed and flipped upside down. That is crazy looking. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is pretty cool. I think I'm not going to just take the boat down there. That'd be like Land of the Lost. Wow. Oh. That scared me. Oh, jeez. These guys are so accurate. Let's get out of here. I think I do want to see what's in this boat, but um, that is really cool. Um, okay, how we get in here? There we go. I actually think this is the chest for food. Wow, that is a terrible chest. Uh, Frostwalker. 
That'll be interesting. That actually might help out. We got two suspicious stew, and I will take this. Uh, it's always nice to have chests early on in the game. Anything over here? There may be something back here. Yep, look at that. Oh, I want to say that I knew that, but I didn't know that. That was all luck. Lots of paper and two empty maps. Okay. That, and we'll take another chest. So far, the loot chests are, uh, have not been um, the best. I was really hoping for some iron so I can make a shield. Because uh, it is really challenging to fight skeletons without a good shield. And I'm not actually seeing any iron occur on the outside either. Oh. It's really dark down here. That is just so cool. Okay. Uh, maybe we can find some iron in here. See some glow squid down there. I am not seeing any iron at all. There's some coal. This is going to make things challenging if you can't find iron that easily at the top. Oh. Um Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't a great start. That 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 was not a great start at all right there. Um Yeah, good thing I didn't do hardcore, huh? All right, let's go back and see if we can get our stuff. Okay, there is the stuff. Let's see if I can write this down here. Okay, maybe I could, um, maybe I should actually put some of the stuff that I got on. How about that? Here's some coal. Okay, we'll just set the respawn point here and, uh, oh, it's like, what's happening? I put the Frostwalker boots on. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Although it's probably going to ruin my chances for uh, exploring this thing properly. So let's go ahead and take those off right now. We'll, we'll use that to walk around though. That's that's nice. I think I'll leave the bed up here. I made some torches. So let's go ahead and just... Uh, we'll take this down. And we are looking for any kind of iron at all. Ah, right there. Okay, cool. I mean, like a weird delay on the uh, good old uh, swipey swipes. Let's see, don't die. All right. This is what I love most about the uh, new caves, uh, lush caves. I'm going to have a limited supply of good old, good old clay. And, you know, I do like the moss blocks. Not going to lie. They're cool. Also easy to break. We got some glow berries here. Ooh, um, our first drip leaf as well. Nice. Cool. Oh, we got two, the two varieties, the small one and the large one right there. Nice, nice, nice. I do like love these lush caves. I think they're they're just beautiful. Great design, Mo Yang. Great design. Okay, yeah. Um, iron looks like very sparse um, at this level. So let us go and we'll grab that iron that's over there. Here's some copper, which other than a spyglass, I'm not sure what else we can do with this right now. We 100% we don't need a lightning rod. Um, and we don't need copper blocks for building. And we can't use these to make copper tools. So kind of a early game, not really something that we uh, need. 
But uh, the glowberries, you know what? I will take. We can use that as a food source. Okay, anything else over here? All right, let's go ahead and grab this iron. Was that it? Uh, that was stingy. But that is enough to make a shield, so we are going to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and get that shield going here so we have at least a little bit of protection from creepers and uh, our friendly little skeletons. Okay. And I'm thinking probably we want to keep on looking around until we find some mountains and uh, we might just call this a pretty uh, a light episode today just to kind of get things started. But we did find a lush cave quite easily. I think they're going to be very common in this uh, new release and um, we are seeing some great terrain generation as well. I was kind of worried uh, after some of the uh, snapshots. I saw some of the previews for the snapshots, but uh, this is looking pretty, pretty good. If you're wondering why I did that, there was some, some creepers near the door there. All right, so let's keep on looking around, see if we can find some mountains. This is crazy. I mean, it does, it does make you feel a lot smaller as a player, where I think like uh, the old Minecraft uh, you felt pretty large uh, in comparison to the environment around you. Uh, this is kind of, it definitely makes you feel a lot smaller. And here we go. Look at this. That did not take long at all. It looks like we, yeah, we got some ice up there. It looks like we have a snowy peak up here. Let's go up and see what we can see from the very top and see how high this is. Because uh, that might be kind of cool. Ooh, that was close. Powdered snow. Uh, light is a rapid advancement. So if you put on leather boots, and luckily I had those Frostwalker leather boots, it pulls you out of the powdered snow. Uh, but you can see that for a while there, there was those uh, snowy crystals kind of growing around me. Uh, that uh, that would have killed me. It would have killed me eventually because it freezes you as you fall into the snow. Uh, wow, this is crazy. We are really up here. And it's not even the, t the tallest peak. Look at this one. All right, we got some mountain goats up here. All right, let's see how high we are. Uh, that's where we came from. It took a while. Um, let's do our little F3 right here. And we are at uh, 168 right now. That is pretty awesome. Okay, now let's keep on going up and see how tall this mountain is up here. Mm, don't buck me, mister. Don't fuck me. Nope, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, I'm your friend. I just want to see how tall it is up here. All right, let's see. We are at 214. Wow, look at this. This is going to be quite the source for um, blue ice going forward, too, when you see this stuff. Well, I think with that, that's going to bring us to the end of today's episode. Uh, just a real short one. We we just wanted to kind of check this world out and see if we could find a mountain. And <laughs> we, boy, howdy, did we find some mountains right here? This is super super impressive. Uh, if you want to play along, that seed uh, that I used will be in the description below. Um, also, uh, what would you like to see as we continue this little mini series of just kind of exploring the new features of 118? Uh, let me know in the comments. Um, I am looking forward to really interacting with everybody who watches the video. So, um, yeah, please leave them. Uh, say hi. Uh, tell me what you're looking forward to. Uh, point out some features that I missed. And tell me, tell me how to get iron in this new world with ores spawning at different heights that I'm used to. I'm, I'm old. You got to teach an, an old dog new tricks here. But until next time, this has been Dad's Guide. Uh, bye for now.